it's time that uh, the jazz musicians uh, take up their original role of leading. The What's up, y'all? You know, this painting right here, I'm going to get right to it, y'all. This painting right here is about losing yourself against your will. You lost something, a part of you that was you held dear. And um, as you see, as I go through this, you'll see kind of where I'm going with this. But you lost something that you held dearly to yourself. And it's a lot of pain here. And it's a lot of, you know, a lot of trying to hold on to something. You know, when you try to hold on to something, but you, you have to let it go. You know, if you love something, you got to let it go. You know you hear the quote. So it's just... This is like the real, the real embodiment of it. And, you know, you got to look at yourself here. And sometimes you got to, you want to blame the world, but you got to realize, you know, sometimes you put yourself in situations. And we try to, I got this spray paint because I really want to try some things. But you look at yourself, you look at yourself as, hold on, yeah. You look at yourself that's like a valuable piece, you know? And we got this silver here. This is you, you know, you... Ooh, you can see it glisten. This is you. you, you're this valuable person. You, you, you consider yourself something so, so special. You hold yourself special, it's your ego. You, you let your ego tr tr creep in. And you began to, you know, become something you didn't think you were going to become. Well. You know, y'all know I need to think. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sauce, and then I can talk. Okay, so, so you consider yourself this valuable asset. You know, you're this person that's, you know, essentially silver, a, a diamond, a rare, a rare breed. But you know, that's really not the case in a lot of situations. Or you know, we're all different, we're all unique. But this ego that you put yourself on under kind of created this shell. So, you created this shell here, and you'll see these, like, it's like this spackle, it's like this, you know, it's, it's hard, it's, ugh, it's ugly, you know, this is really ugly, <laughs> you know, it's ugly, and it's like, Look, at least I got the, that's disgusting, but, <laughs> that's nasty, but that noise kind of signifies what you became and what you are, so, let me use this here, you kind of, you know, it's ignorance, you put, you had your own ignorance here, and it's hard for us sometimes to, it's hard for us to It can be hard for you and I'm gonna do turmoil here in the head. It's turmoil, it's chaos here. But it can be hard for you, you know, to recognize that. And I kinda wanna let that sit, but at the same time I don't, so we're just gonna get right back into it. So you have this, you have this froth over you. You have this ugly shell that you put over yourself. And make sure it's recording. So here we go. Here we are trying to. You, know, you're, you thought you were light, but you were darkness. So okay, let me clear up some things here. So you, you had this vision of yourself as this perfect creature, or you know, you were this person that could you know relationships it can be relationships just or even interaction your parents you know you may have some problems with your you know a mother or father a friend a brother a sister you thought you were this light let me use this yellow to you know to show you know this this part of you that you thought you you know these highlights of yourself and you have highlights in yourself but we're not always, we're not all perfect, you know? And it's okay not to be perfect. Everybody wants to be perfect. Everybody wants to be this person that's, you know, this, this, this purist. But in you trying to achieve per per perfection, you created this, this ugly spackle. And you, you, you created this, these, these, 
this rough nature in yourself. You know, and what you held on to wasn't isn't rough. It's not what you held on to, what you thought you had. You know, doesn't flow with your, your with the nature that you were bringing to yourself and bringing around you. So let me let me let me uh, let me work here. Let me work. Let me work. Let me cook, y'all. Let me cook. So you know me. I love mixed mediums. I really felt. I really, to be honest. You know, I really feel in love with mixed medium. Like mixed mediums, this is my gen. Colors, uh, realism, nah. You know, and it's just more prevalent. Like it'd be, it'd be impossible for me to go back to realism just because it's how I view things now. And just what I feel the world really is. So here, like I said, you know, you brought this. You know, you held this thing to you. You know. And like most of us, we're really not solid. That's why I like to, I go fast sometimes because it's like we're not solid people. And we're not solid as in we're not. We sometimes we think of ourselves as this absolute thing and people, you know, they make decisions and they fear absolute. They fear and they make decisions out of the, the, the mindset of everything's absolute. Like life is, life is, you know, full of Regrowing, regeneration. That's why I view life. Constantly building yourself, growing yourself. Some people view different, but you know, my life and you know what things, lessons I've learned are all came from. They all came from ripping myself apart. It sounds violent. I'm a pretty dramatic person. So you rip yourself apart. You rip what you thought your identity apart. And I and I, uh, and I fast with strokes, and I'm really, you know, vibrant rough it's because you know that's what life is we try to you know nature nature is life so like a lot of times i don't know everyone feels like life everyone you know gets attached to to right and wrong oh that's too slow that's too fast that's so that's so harsh and it's like life, look at nature you know look at what's really going on here look at a snake we don't know if a snake is in pain when they shed their skin maybe there's science someone comment if there's science behind that but we don't know we don't know what's going on, but you know, as a snake and a, as a lot of, I guess we cut our hair, but you know, a lot of things in nature, they shed and they regrow. They shed and regrow constantly, and that's their life. And on a small level, humans do it. You know, I guess we get older, you know, we get wrinkles, you know, gray hair, but it's, you know, in our prime years, it's not as prevalent. And you know, for like a, for a tree, for example, it's always, it's, you know, it's prevalent that it's going to, you know, when the fall comes, it's going to die. It's not going to die, it's going to shed that old skin. And I think people need to realize that, you know, that's what life, like, in my opinion, that's what life kind of shows. You, you have to be, a, you have to be receptive to it. Don't say you have to just re recreate yourself every day, wake up and just do it every day, but you have to be receptive to learning and, like, realizing that you're wrong. Now, a lot of people think they're right, a lot. And, and, and you know, some people... They're okay with, you know, with their, um, this coolness here. You know, the thing is here, we are talking about this, we're talking about you right now. That's how I want to go through this. I want to go through like, hey, this is you right now. You are going through... Maybe I should use the heat gun and heat it up right now. Nah. So this is you right now. You're cold to the touch. You may not even realize it. And you kind of see where I'm going here. You can see what the other figure is going to be. You know, it's going to encompass. So, um, here we are. I may try to include up in the videos, 
because I'll try to, you know, I want to do more layers, you know, it's layers to everything. So, but here we are, you know, you, you're rough, you have, you know, you have that image of yourself as being this light, this vision, you know, you have this image of yourself being light, being something special, and you are special, but, you know, possibly you, you may have gotten too comfortable, maybe, you know? You know, as as that analogy about the flowers, you may have, in some senses, forgot to shed and reevaluate your skin. So, it's a lot of pain. You know, one thing, I don't like those hands, but, you know, one thing about, hmm, you know, one thing about people I see is sometimes when things become overgrown, they hurt you. Um, some people, if you don't cut your neck, you know, even animals, if they don't, especially domesticated animals, when they don't, domesticated animals, when they don't cut their hair or cut certain things about them, it hurts them. You ever see one of those sad videos of a puppy too much fur matted? You know when you when you're not when you're not putting maintenance on yourself, it hurts you. And I, you know I might even see we're getting closer to the source. You're getting closer to the thing that hurts you. You know when it touches your skin, it feels great. Ooh, I know I got a white chalk somewhere. I got white chalk somewhere. Here it is. You know, when, Now, the source is on you, it's beautiful. <sighs> and it's, it feels great, you know? This is you right now. Beauty in the inside, but you, you didn't maintain yourself and you became, you know, you kind of became overworked and You just you start to harm yourself. You maybe not even known it. You may have not noticed it. Maybe you got lazy with certain things, but you slowly start to harm yourself. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna kind of start to incorporate her, or him, or it, whatever you want it to be, and I'm gonna show you, you know, how these combine and come together. So, thanks.